Captain Foley personal channel and I know what you're thinking we've been here before you've seen this before but have you no you haven't um, my American jacket um, order came in the second one this is the suede one which they sent me caught no cost to me um, because they screwed up the order the first time and sent me the cotton one now, I've already done a complete video on the cotton one and that's why I'm saying this is like deja vu but I told you when I got the suede one, I was going to do a comparison video, and this is that video. So here it is. Um, like I said, it came yesterday. They were, they've been very quick with both of these orders. I don't know why people are having issues. I see a lot of people posts on these, and a lot of people saying they're, they haven't got their order, and it's taking forever. I've had nothing but good experiences with American uh, New American Jacket Company. Um, so I don't know what the problem is there, but we're going to take a look at this thing, and it's it's nice, i got to say. Um, but is it better than the cotton one? And we're going to look at a few things, because it's not quite as simple as that. So let's take a look at them and compare them right now. All right, guys, here they both are. Of course, the suede one on the left here. And the cotton one on the right. Now, like I said, I've already done a complete video on the cotton one. Today we're going to look at the suede one and doing some comparisons, but um, you can tell already this is a darker, richer color, especially in different lighting. I kind of got daylight um, going on in here, so it looks different under different lighting conditions. Yeah, um, but moving to the, the biggest difference is the buttons. Uh, these buttons are gold, or these snaps, I guess you'd call them. They are gold, and the cotton one has the black. So that's kind of whatever you prefer. Now, interestingly enough, this leather patch on the suede one is not as stuffed full. A magnetic pin badge may work there. I am going to get a full pin set, though. Just I know I have to punch through the leather, but... Um, this one is quite thick and padded on the cotton one, so much so that the magnetic pin badge wouldn't apply to that. So actually I'm going to go downstairs and grab my magnetic pin and see if it works on this one. Hold on one second. Alright, so I went and got my Trek Yards version of the Wrath of Khan era badge. And uh, as I've shown before, these have really, really strong magnets on them. Um, so, they are designed to go through pretty thick fabric. Did not work on this one when I did the cotton review. Let's see how it works on here. Or if it works. Does. Let me see if that's lined up properly. Yeah. So it does. That's a thinner padded area there. Um, and as a result, the magnetic badge will work. Interesting. That's good to know. Come off. Yes. All right. So it's not super great, as uh, you don't want it to come off when you're out in public. So. Again, I recommend pins. I know a lot of people hate that, but even the... Uh, I'm actually getting a full set of Wrath of Khan. Um, the Insignia, or the Delta. The Captain's Bar is for there. The Captain's Bar is for the sleeve. And then all the pips and squeaks, as they're called, for here. Um, and the person, the prop guy that I'm getting them from, who's going to mold them on the original Wrath of Khan stuff actually suggests pins, not magnets. So this is leather on top of the suede. There's no way that a magnet's going to work on that. Again, <clears throat> genuine leather. It looks really good. 
that gold clasp again. Over here it is the same thing but with the black. Now also this, the leather on the cotton jacket is a richer, darker leather. This is more just red and not worn. I don't know if that's the case for all of these. It could just be simply that this was the, the kind of leather they were using when they made this one. I would honestly prefer this darker leather on here. But with some wear and tear and just use, I'm sure that'll darken up. So not a big issue there. Uh, you got your pockets, of course. Nice. It's not really, it's not silk, but the inside is a nice. Silky feeling material. Got your inside pocket there, and very well constructed inside pocket on that side as well. Um, there's your leather rank stripe, and the leather over here. And again, this leather is more of just a standard red color. Whereas over here on the cotton one, it's more of a worn, darker looking red, which I prefer. So that's one difference. Um, maybe see the differences there. Um, aside from that, there is on the cotton one, the leather down here where the belt buckle is supposed to be. I really don't have an issue not having the belt buckle. I always thought it looked kind of silly. This is the same way. Again, this is more red leather as opposed to the darker leather of that one. And since this is more of a red color in general, I think the dark really pops on it. This, like I said, I would prefer the darker leather here, but it could just be the one that I got just has, they're using a different kind of leather to, to make it, but it's still really good quality. And before anybody asks, no, there's no way to remove this or pull this back without like popping all the stitches. Um, a lot of people, well, a few people have messaged me when I posted on Facebook about getting the cotton one. If there is a, a way to attach a belt buckle here, a metal one, and I'm sure there is. Um, I was just n never a fan of the metal belt buckle and I really don't care if it has it or not. Um, I think that might be like a personal preference as far as Starfleet officers go. They might not necessarily want that so other than that they're pretty much exactly the same i would say go check out my cotton video cotton jacket video which is this one where i look at all the tags and everything they're all the same tags i just don't want to really repeat myself in that regard so the other tags over here Leather. Do not remove tags in case of return or exchange. And thanks for your purchase. Have a great day. So there you go. I guess it's for you guys to make up your own mind. Can't really tell in this lighting. In person, this one is much darker, but on camera, it's just not translating very well, which is always the case. Things look different in person than they do on screen. So they're screen accurate. And then there's also like, you know, prop accurate. But this one looks really good. I have ordered, I have ordered a Go Climb a Rock shirt. And I made sure it was the one with the gray collar. It's just like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. But there's a lot of Go, Go Climb a Rock shirts that are just white t-shirts. Kirk actually has one that has a gray co um, collar part. So you got to get the right one. I've ordered one. It's on its way. And once I get all the rank pins and stuff for it, I will probably do a video on those and then show the final result on the jacket. Like I said, this is one that's probably going to be for cosplay or at conventions. By the way, this one's a lot warmer. This one's super warm. This one's warmer. Also, this one's tighter. They're both 2XL. They fit me great. 
This one's tighter in the arms, a little bit tighter in the gut area. This one's much more comfortable to wear. Looser sleeves a little bit. It just fits better and feels better. So this will be one that I'll probably wear out in public because I have no problem wearing it in public. If you want it for everyday use, I highly recommend the cotton one. But for something more convention, cosplay type, or screen accurate, go with the suede for sure. So I have both. I don't know if I'll put ranks, pins, and stuff on here. The ones I'm getting for this one are, like I said, done, molded on the original screen use ones and are pretty pricey. I may get cheaper versions for this one, but I could also just wear it like that, and I probably will, just because you know you gotta remove your rank insignia and any identifying pieces before you go out in public when you travel back in time. So I'll just look like I've got a really funky jacket <laughs> and uh, no problem with that. So, But we'll see, I might get a cheaper set of captain's bars and stuff for this one but there you have it guys don't know how helpful this was but I promised I'd make this comparison video I don't know I can't think of anything else to compare right now like I said this leather part here is much thinner much thinner this is way padded there's no way that the magnet will stick to that because it's so padded you can see how padded it is compared to this one this is like there's not no padding in there really at all but there's no way that magnetic pips and squeaks are going to work on this leather overlaid on suede absolutely no way you need to put pins in it and i know it's leather you don't want to really put a hole in it but it's one of those things once it's there you're going to keep it there because this is for cosplay right um you might change out the rank insignia if you want to go from captain to admiral or something but I don't know. Just trying to think of anything else to talk about necessarily. Um, this is just heavier suede. This is much more comfortable cotton. And there you can kind of see the di color difference, and even the fabric difference. If you zoom in here, you can see the the different textures, right? Which help a lot with lighting. All right, well, there you go. Um, NewAmericanJackets.com. Go check them out. they got a bunch of other Star Trek ones, including Picard ones. Highly recommend it. I hear Cosmart has got into making these now. Um, I don't know if those are better or worse, but... All right, guys, there you have it, the comparison video. You make up your own mind. Like I said, the cotton one is a little bit more comfortable for everyday wear if that's something you're going to do with this thing and this thing is much more cosplay accurate if you will or authentic uh, minus the belt buckle of course everybody's freaking out about the belt buckle i never liked the belt buckle on it i don't plan on putting one on here i think the leather on there is sufficient enough but teach their own so there you have my thoughts up to you what you guys want to do if you do want something a little more screen accurate, I would say go with the suede. It just it feels better. Um, it looks better under certain light. And it definitely smells smells more leathery. <laughs> um, the, the cotton one is great, but um, the color's a little off. And it's not quite as screen accurate as a lot of people would like. So I am waiting. I've got my captain's bars and my... Uh, insignias and my pips and squeaks, well, pips and squeaks, uh, coming, um, really good quality ones based on the original props. So once those arrive, I'll throw those on this jacket here. I might get a cheaper set to put on the other jacket. Uh, the other jacket is one I will probably wear out in public. Uh, this one in the winter, I don't know if I want to really risk getting the suede all damaged. So it's just one of those things, right? So you kind of have to make up your own mind on it and but I highly recommend New American Jackets. I think they've done a fantastic job with these. I cannot complain at all. For the price, it's just it's totally worth it. Especially with their summer sale going on. So, anyway, uh, let me know in the comments section if you have one, if you plan on getting one. 
if you do order from them, tell them that Trek Yard sent you. I'd really appreciate that. I've had nothing but good experiences with the lady I was talking to the whole time. Uh, even getting this one sent out, it, it was very quick. So, anyway. So please comment down below your thoughts on it. Anything you've noticed that I might have got wrong, please let me know. That's something that's really important to me. So, also, hit that like button. Did you like the video? Even if you didn't, I apologize. But hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to both channels, this one as well as the Trek Yards main channel. Do a lot of cool Star Trek stuff all the time. If that's your thing, check it out. And also check out another video by me right here. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley, signing off. Bye.